the use of food byproducts is a delicious way of saving money, help to feed the world and protect the planet health. Good morning everyone, this is Rajesh Dangal, currently studying Master in Food Science and Technology and working as a GA with Dr. Pranavindu Mitra. As for IFT, the top priority, priority research area in food, in food industry is how to convert the food waste into the value added products to address the challenges and the sustainability of the food industry as well as to meet the future food demands. For example, Wisconsin brewing industry produces 75% of the brewing spent grain as a waste yearly. Similarly, according to the USDA 2021, the cranberry pomace industry produces 30 to 40% of the pomace as a waste. So the management of such a huge waste is a real challenge for the sustainability and growing of the brewing and cranberry industries. The brewing spent grain is the byproduct after brewing process in the beer, beer industry, which is rich in protein, fiber, and minerals. Similarly, the cranberry pomace is the byproduct after separating the cranberry juice, which is richer in antioxidant, fiber, and minerals. So the objective of my study is to utilize those byproducts to make nutritionally balanced value-added value snacks by incorporating with the soy proteins, rice flour, using extrusion technology. Extrusion technology is advanced technology, which is works on a temperature, pressure, and screw speed. So by using these machines, nine different products has been made. The physiochemical and the sensory properties has been done. So the result indicate that we can add up to the 25% of the brewing spent grain to make a good quality of the products as like the Cheetos, which is available in our market. Similarly, we can add up to the 5% of the cranberry pomace to increase the nutritional quality, such as antioxidant, which is good for our health. To conclude, protein, fiber, minerals, and antioxidant richer extruded snacks can be made by using these byproducts, which helps to reduce the waste in the environment and the sustainability of the food industry. Thank you. So in terms of working with suppliers of your materials, and, and I, I would assume um, working with, you know, working with providers in terms of trying to get the resources you need, the waste product to do your work, what it, are there challenges there? I mean, obviously this is a, a, big, a big producer of waste. Why haven't we leveraged you know this type of research in the in the past are there are there challenges to that actually uh, to talk about the getting the uh, raw materials uh, my professors uh, helped me to get that um, raw materials so it was uh, not that much challenges but uh, quite difficult to get the uh, products from the industry so i got easily um, so it was not that much challenges for me <laughs> Where's the biggest opportunity from your research that you're like, this is going to be a great product. This is, this is, the consumer's really going to love this. Yeah. Where, where do you see the biggest opportunity? Yeah, actually, uh, I'm using the byproducts, which is richer in protein, fiber, minerals, and antioxidant. So the, uh, obviously, the my products is a richer, richer in those components, and it has a good health benefits. And the people nowadays looking for the good quality of the products, like, uh, which give a good health benefit. So it can be like, it can take a market, I guess. I guess I'm, I'm trying to <clears throat> understand the food waste part of it and the, it sounds like, so you're definitely using it as an ingredient, yeah. right? And finding the best way to <clears throat> process and integrate. Has there been research or have you ever asked the question of maybe it being consumed in more of a supplement format? Actually, uh, I didn't uh, I went through that, but I, I was thinking about to using these byproducts because of some reasons, like uh, because of some the effect on the environment, because of the consumer's demand, because of the pricing, and because of the health benefits. So that's the reasons that I went through the research. 